Hey guys, as I do at this time every year, I wanted to run through a few of the most interesting and exciting prospects from the 2021 NFL Draft, highlighting a little bit about their talents and skill sets. But since we're all still stuck in isolation for the most part, working from home and doing everything through Zoom calls, I thought it makes sense to plug back into the matrix, talk to an old friend, and spice this thing up a little bit. Let's dive in. I'm gonna log in here, see if I can get, get this thing going on. Danny Kelly, it's the demon in your hard drive. And I have... Lockdown fatigue. I've seen more Trevor Lawrence tape than episodes of Friends. I need human contact, Danny Kelly. Like literally anything, I just start talking to people online at the supermarket. It's time to get some NFL draft immunity with this two-shot dose of tape. This is 2021 Metal Draft. Pandemic. 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 Oh my. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, first up, let's talk about the face of the draft Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence is the total package at quarterback, combining size, athleticism, strong arm, and pinpoint accuracy. He led Clemson to the national title as a true freshman, has played in plenty of big games, and has an unflappable demeanor at all times. He's just icy cool on the field. He also has an incredible head of hair. I remember when I used to wash my hair last August. Am I right? Who even leaves the house anymore? All right, next up, let's talk about Alabama receiver Devontae Smith. For starters, this dude was the first receiver to win the Heisman Trophy in almost three decades after leading the country in catches, yards, and touchdowns. He's skinny, and that's a big concern, but he just flat out makes plays game in and game out. He's an elite route runner, wins at the catch point, and the last time we saw him play in the Crimson Tides National Championship matchup against Ohio State, he caught 12 passes for 215 yards and three touchdowns in just over two quarters of play. I remember when I was skinny, before I started making my own bread, now I have blood type sourdough. Uh, okay. Um, so next up, we got BYU quarterback Zach Wilson. Wilson's got a super intriguing skill set. Whip-like arm, athleticism as a runner, quick decision-making. Yeah, you know who else has quick decision-making? My stepdad when he got into QAnon. That was a decision. <laughs> oh you see that guy's Facebook page? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look, I'm not blaming you, but you just keep bringing me Bon okay. Me with cilantro, uh, and that stuff uh, just tastes hey, awful hey, to hey, me. So you're, you're not, you're it's not genetic. Hey, I don't know what to uh, tell you. You're ya. not muted. I know it's yeah, not Grubhub's fault, yeah, you but yourself. help me out. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah. Wait, yeah. so now, wait, I'm not frozen, right? Can you hear me? Look, it's been a tough year. I lost my security deposit after an air fryer accident. I didn't really properly read the instruction manual. I don't know if I have the juice for the draft this year, and none of these prospects are really stirring my ashes. Well, look, man, I know you're probably tired of hearing about Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson after all these months. How about we do some of my favorite and most exciting players in this class? Whatever you say, brother. All right, we got to get this amped up. Let's kick this off with the biggest unicorn of the draft, tight end Kyle Pitts. Pitts is what you'd get if you combine Calvin Johnson and, I don't know, Randy Moss. All right, I recognize he's not in the Hall of Fame quite yet, but he is one of the rarest prospects we've seen this century. He's big, super fast, agile, and wins the catch point. He's going to score so many touchdowns. Holy shit, this guy looks like the villain from the Snyder Cut. Did you guys see that movie? It was too short. Okay, now let's look at North Carolina running back Javante Williams. This guy is just straight up made out of cement. He averaged more broken tackles per rush attempt last year than any other FBS running back since 2014, according to PFF. He's got incredible foot quickness and very good balance, and he's the most elusive back in this class. This guy looks like Barry Sanders, combined with Juggernaut from X-Men, combined with Nightcrawler, who you also may know from the X-Men. Can you guys tell I've been reading lots of comics in Quar? Now let's go to Ole Miss receiver Elijah Moore. Moore is shifty and dynamic running routes out of the slot. He was also ridiculously productive. In 2020, he averaged a national best 10.8 catches and 149.1 yards per game. He has really good hands, maybe the best in the class, and he's very elusive after the catch. You guys may remember Elijah Moore from his leg lift celebration. And if you don't like it, rest in peace. All right, let's talk a little bit about offensive linemen. And you got to start with Georgia guard Ben Cleveland. 
I don't have a whole lot more to say than this dude just looks like the mountain. If the NFL doesn't work out for him, he's got a future in the WWE. Hey, Sleepy Joe Biden, how about directing some infrastructure funds to this fucking bridge of a man? Art Rooney Jr., you might want to cash your stimmy check for a little Cleveland in Pittsburgh. Next up, we got Notre Dame linebacker Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. I love this guy. He's like a heat seeking missile on the field. He's maybe the most electric player in this field. He lines up in the slot, in the box, sometimes off the edge. He just flies around from sideline to sideline and hits like a pile of bricks. He's instinctive in coverage and he's a spark bug player for that defense. All right, next up, another receiver. Amon Ra St. Brown from USC. Brown is a technician as a route runner and he's tough to defend in the red zone. He's got experience both outside and the slot. He's also one of the most interesting players in this draft. His father, John Brown, two-time Mr. Universe and three-time Mr. World in the 1980s. He's also fluent in three languages, speaks German and French in addition to English. This guy sounds like the Egyptian god of the slot. <laughs> <laughs> Another receiver you gotta keep your eye on is Purdue's Rondell Moore. He is a freaking dynamo. He's only five foot seven, but he can absolutely fly. He could dunk the basketball as a five foot seven high schooler. He ran a 429 40 at his pro day and he jumped 42 inches in the vert. He was an All-American as a freshman, catching 114 passes for 1,258 yards and 12 touchdowns. And he's a little bit of a wild card because he struggled with injuries over the past few years, but he's as twitched up as any skill player in this draft. I'm no Todd McShay, but another short guy who was twitched up was Napoleon. And I'm pretty sure he was the MVP of the Waterloo Bowl. I gotta mention Penn State pass rusher Jason Owe. This guy is a rare, rare athlete. He ran 4'3", 6", at 6'5", 257 pounds, also had a 39-inch vert. His sack production didn't quite match the measurables last year. In fact, he had zero sacks, but he has explosive first step burst, prototypical size, and more potential than maybe any pass rusher in this class. You know what also has potential? My book club, because no one has joined. We're reading Lonesome Dove. <laughs> <laughs> this is like by far the dumbest thing I've ever done. 